Welcome to Ridgeland High School for this matchup, the Interstate 95 Bowl on WHHI Sports. I'm Marcus Walsh along with Daniel Court. Daniel, when you take a look at these two teams, Ridgeland's all about the ability to get some guys on the outside. We know what May River can do with the fact that they like to run it. They like to really use strong defense and offensive line. But May River's going to be without a couple of guys tonight that could impact this game otherwise. Yeah, the, one of their star players, Darian Perry, is out with an ankle injury tonight. And uh, their star tight end, Michael Namdar, who was one of the returning four offensive linemen who they converted to a tight end. He's having a great start to his season. So, unfortunately, those two players are sitting tonight. When you take a look at both these teams, they have started defeated. May River is 0-2 after the bye last week. Ridgeland Hardyville playing a lot better in the second half and later in games, but they're 0-3. Something's got to give here tonight with the battle of the Rodneys as the head coach, Rodney Summers for May River and Rodney Brown of Ridgeland. Yeah, it's the Rodney Bowl, isn't it? Yeah. But unfortunately, the weather is really the story of this game. It's going to be the story of this game, unfortunately. And May River is one of the only, I think maybe the only high school so far that does not have turf on their yep, field. So right. they've been practicing in these wet conditions we've had for the last month and a half. So preparation to come out on a turf field is going to be a little bit difficult for them to weather no pun intended, That's right. to start this game. Rodney Barr, actually, is the head coach of Ridgeland. Sorry about that. We're uh, going to have a good ball game tonight in the Interstate 95 Bowl. We're going to have kickoff and a whole lot more as WHHI's high school football continues next. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. Hi, I'm Mike Zachman, broker at Keller Williams Realty. I've maintained a successful business model through multiple market shifts over time. I know this market and I know real estate. Serving 22 years in the Navy as a Navy diver, combined with a lifetime of boating on the coast, have enabled me to know the waterways that are an integral part of the low country lifestyle. Whether you're buying or selling, myself and my team can help you navigate the coastal South Carolina real estate market. Give us a call. Here at Island Foot and Ankle Surgery, we offer both surgical and non-surgical foot and ankle care. Through comprehensive patient education, we'll prescribe a treatment plan suited to your individual needs. Our doctors are board certified with over 20 years of experience and recognized in the industry both nationally and internationally in surgery training and education. If you're experiencing any pain or disruptions to everyday life, we are here to help you. Call us today for an appointment. Let Casual Living Fireside and Grillin' inspire your outdoor style. Stop by and shop our 15,000 square foot showroom for the perfect patio furniture, fire pits, umbrellas, grills, outdoor kitchens, and more. We're here to help turn your outdoor space into a haven of luxury and style. We offer delivery and setup. We're the only company that services what we sell. Please come by as we love during your business. Casual Hi, I'm Chip Welch with OC Welch Ford. Come pick out your brand new 2022 Expedition or Explorer with over 50 to choose from. With interest rates as low as 1.9%, call or come see me today at OC Welch Ford in Hardyville, South Carolina. Now the National Anthem brought to you by O.C. Welch.
Tell Hey Tell Hey That means you gonna call it for me Heads or tail? Tails Tails he called Tails Alright I got a tail What you wanna do with it? Receive I Wanna see the ball Okay White Want to toss and go receive Which way you wanna kick this thing? Uh -huh. Turn that way over there You turn over here white Okay White one returns And go receive on his end Gentlemen I ain't tell you to shake hands It's up to you where you want to shake hands Okay Let's have a great game Hey good luck y'all Good luck y'all Good luck Good luck Good luck Good luck Good luck from Ridgeland High School, it is WHHI's high school football game of the week, the Interstate 95 Bowl to kick off the 2022 season here again on WHHI Sports TV. Marcus Walsh, Daniel Court with you, getting ready to kick off another season of high school football. James Frederick is our referee tonight. Charles Brown, line judge. Kelly Wigland, the linesman. And the kick will be coming here momentarily it is up and we are underway as the ball is down at the 26 yard line able to return it there was andrew johnson wide receiver 510 160 and so with that we are underway the rest of our officiating crew joshua pelkey the back judge the umpire addison gerald those are your officials for tonight's ball game. Yeah, and Marcus, here comes that big offensive front for the May River Sharks, the much uh, touted and highly heralded front of, of the four offensive starters. Three of those are on this offensive line that are returning yep. from last season. Absolutely. First down and 10 from the 25-yard line. Tanner Macy going to go out of the shotgun, the son of Brett Macy, who's the AD, passing downfield a little bit. Near the flat, and it is incomplete. It'll be second down. No sooner than I, than I say, there's not going to be a lot of passing. The first play of the game is a pass. Yes, indeed. Shows you how much I know, right? Well, I think the element of surprise is always important in football, especially in the first play of the game. Right. So I think they could have, could have tried to catch him off guard with that little, little out throw there, which was missed, but uh, I suspect we'll start seeing some running the ball. Second down from around the 25-yard line. Macy goes out of the gun. He's going to take it himself. He's got some wheels. He's going to go up the middle, and he's got a lot of running room. Across the 40 and all the way to the 43-yard line for a May River first down. Big play for Tanner Macy right there. Gain of 17, first down for the Sharks. I was asking you about Tanner Macy before the game, and you mentioned you had called a lot of his games during basketball. Yeah. Uh, a good athlete, quick, Absolutely. a good scrapper, and, and a real dual-threat quarterback. He, he is that. Just inside the 45-yard line as Macy's going to hand it off to a guy that we're familiar with. It's Jaden Jones trying to get to the outside. He's across the 45 to the 47-yard line before he gets tackled. A reminder that today's game and every game brought to you by Summit Services Heating and Air, the presenting sponsor, your leader in home performance services in the low country. Thanks to Summit Services for supporting WHHI Sports all year long. We want to thank FWDG as well, the furniture and services you deserve. They were our Media Day host and Media Day sponsor. Second down, eight to go. Here's Macy. He's got the football. He's going to take it up the middle, and he's got running room again across the 45 into Ridgeland territory, down at the 44. Yeah, and for those viewers who are watching this, these are designed uh, quarterback keeps, and you can see clearly that the left side of that offensive line sealing off uh, the defensive front on the left there for Ridgeland and just doing a great job. Uh, Ridgeland's just going to have to come up with these outside backers and secondary to contain Macy on the outside because the offensive line is, is so far winning the battle up front. We've got a flag our first, and it's the personal foul. So the Sharks are going to be backed up. 10.30 to go here in the first quarter of the Interstate 95 Bowl on WHHI Sports. Marcus Walsh, Daniel Court, Larry Giacomo, Jessa Jeremiah, Christopher Sanders, Jeremy Pope, Maria Soden, we're all with you here tonight. 
Marcus, that was a substantial penalty there because they gained about 15 on the play. They lost 15 on the call, so it's a net of a 30-yard loss there for the Sharks. That's the kind of thing that will uh, get uh, Rodney Summers hot under the collar there on the Here's sidelines. a handoff and a lot of running room to the They're outside. They're going to get it back quick. Here's Jones across the 50, across the 40, to the 33-yard line. There's the highly touted Jaden Jones, as much touted, if not more, for his defensive back plays. But my goodness, he's showing uh, not only he has power, but he has speed on the outside. Excellent pickup there to get all of that yardage back and, and a little and a little more. 5'9", 135 pounds. What a play there on the ground by Jones. And out of the gun goes Macy. He's going to take it. He's going to go up the middle across the 30. Fumbled. Fumbled. He lost the ball, but it looks like as it's still on the ground, May River recovers it. It was fumbled by Macy after a big run. William Morrow, offensive lineman, 5'10", 225 able to corral it inside the 25 to the 24-yard line. That's another thing to keep an eye on here tonight with the weather conditions. The ball, the field is wet, the ball is slippery, so ball security is just going to be paramount for both these teams tonight. 9.28 to go in the first quarter. Both teams looking for their first win on the year as Jones is going to get the handoff to the right side, go up the middle, and down to the 15, actually make it the 20-yard line plethora of Ridgeland Jaguars in on the stop and they're doing a nice job Daniel of corralling some of these runners down but just a little bit too much speed and aggression right now for May River. Well Jones is sort of showing uh, he's he's a triple threat he's got power he can run north and south he's got speed but he's also got great lateral movement two nice shifts there to avoid what would would be tackles. Here's Macy handing it off Left side up the middle, busting through the second level down to the 11-yard line. Huge run again for May River, and again it's Jaden Jones. He is going to be the bell cow for this team for much of the season, but especially here tonight as we have 8.40 or so to play here in the first. Yeah, he's first defi down. definitely the workhorse. And again, I just I just said he had power. He, he carried defenders after contact for another uh, about, about eight yards. So for all you young players out there watching, learn from the leg drive of Jaden Jones. Once you Here's, get hit, drive those legs. And there he goes again just inside the 10-yard line to the nine. May River really doing a nice job of soaking up clock. Marcus, is it just me, or has Jones packed on some pounds over the offseason? I, I think he has, yeah. He does look a little bit more solid. He does. Especially in the lower half. Yes, I totally agree. Those, I mean, look at those legs, the hamstrings. He's got the Earl Campbell thighs going on yeah. there. Yeah, it's, it's very reminiscent. Did I just date myself by throwing out an Earl Campbell reference? Not, not with me. <laughs> I know enough about Earl Campbell. Here he goes on a direct snap. It's Jones up the middle inside the two, working his way near the end zone, looking for the signal, and we got it. It's a May River touchdown. This is going to be a play I think we'll see a lot from the May River Sharks this season, with that being uh, Jaden Jones lining up in the Wildcat position. Uh, what, a, what a threat there. You've got a strong, a quick, aggressive offensive line, and a back like that taking a direct snap. They can do some damage all season with that play. It's a TCL touchdown as well, and it looks like May River setting up in an interesting formation here. There's a little flip towards the left side. They go for two. They get it, and it is eight to nothing. We're going to take our first time out. Be right back after this. Eight nothing May River on WHHI Sports. As a parent to another parent, TCL makes it very easy for you to succeed. TCL is definitely the smart choice. We really work with all of our students. It's the most affordable it's ever been. You have supportive staff here. We focus on practical teaching and hands-on application. You're going to be able to get to know your peers. You're going to get to know your instructors. It's a great transitional period for students coming out of high school. It is just a great school all around. 
Let casual living, fireside and grilling inspire your outdoor style. Stop by and shop our 15,000 square foot showroom for the perfect patio furniture, fire pits, umbrellas, grills, outdoor kitchens and more. We're here to help turn your outdoor space into a haven of luxury and style. We offer delivery and setup. We're the only company that services what we sell. Please come by as we love during your business. Hi, I'm Beth Drake. If you're serious about buying or selling a home, you need an experienced real estate professional who knows the local market and how to get you the best price. Having a degree in interior design gives me a unique edge when helping my buyers and sellers. From staging and marketing properties to assisting buyers with finding the home of their dreams, I'm delighted to be different by design. Call me at 422-7500 and let me help you every step of the way. We welcome you back. It is 7.40 to go. And here's the kickoff. It's high and short. It's going to be fielded at about the 23 or 24 yard line. And Ridgeland's got it back. Marcus Walsh, Daniel Court, the rest of our crew with you. And uh, Daniel, I just happened to go to the dentist the other day. <laughs> Let's let's hear from our sponsor, McGinnis Orthodontists. McGinnis Orthodontics. McGinnis, love your smile. Any way to throw that in there? <laughs> Thank, thanks for the lead first, in. First down at the 28-yard line. Yeah. 7:27 to play. Yeah, Marcus, that first quarter. drive by May River, well, we can call that the Jaden Jones drive. Absolutely we can. And capping it off with about an 8- to 10-yard touchdown run there. And ball's loose on the ground. Back at the 28, maybe the 29-yard line, number 45, Thomas Raish in on the play for May River. He's a linebacker, 5'11", 170. And I think he ended up making the play – as well on that two-point conversion. And let's go down to Jessica Jeremiah. She's got something for us. All right, we are taking a break here on the sidelines. Thanks to our sponsor, Luke Garonski. And you know what, I love catching up with the men and women who are out here really serving our community. And of course, we've got the Jasper County Fire and Emergency Team out here really taking a look and keeping an eye out. I want to introduce you really quick. Could you tell me your name and title, please? Uh, Firefighter EMT Andy Blake. Deputy Chief Darren Vaughn. Firefighter Paramedic Michael Fry. And I know you're busy, so we're going to get you back to it, but just give us a highlight about what you're out here doing tonight. We are the medical coverage for the football game for the spectators and the players. So you're keeping an eye out, making sure everyone's safe, and I want to say thank you so much for what you're doing out here tonight and for the community. We appreciate you. Thank you all very much. And that's our sideline report. We'll get you back to the game. Thank you, Jessa. Ethan Sprinkle with the tackle of Maurice Brown right there, Daniel, on that last play and a huge hit by Ethan Sprinkle. Yeah, been really looking forward to seeing Maurice, who they call Mo Brown here at quarterback, number one, uh, yeah. considered a, a really strong dual-threat quarterback. He's going to have some, uh, some challenges to deal with tonight with that May River Sharks front, but uh, if he breaks containment, look out because he's got speed and agility. He's going to go out of the shotgun. The May River Sharks are sniffing blood right now as they were looking to go inside and put a hit on somebody as there's a run up the middle and a nice gain to the 34, maybe the 35-yard line for Xavier Plowdenus, linebacker running back 5'10", 225, a guy that they're saying – over at Ridgeland is a guy to look forward to seeing, and uh, he ends up having a really good game there. This is an interesting call here, Marcus. It looks like the offense is staying on the field here on a on a fourth and about four yards. So, wow, uh, rolling the dice here early for Coach Rodney Barr. That they certainly are. Rodney Summers, the head coach of May River. We've got a whistle and a timeout, Ridgeland. We'll take it with him. Be right back. We've got five minutes left in the opening quarter on WHHI.
Hey, are you looking to make living in the low country a little more affordable? Do you have a detached garage just like this one? Well, why not add on to it and make it a passive income opportunity? They call this a carriage house or an accessory dwelling unit or ADU. By building an ADU, you will increase your home's value, have an opportunity to actually make some money, and give someone a high quality home to live in and rent just like this one. My name is Ryan from Bluffton Builders, and my goal is to make home ownership more enjoyable through the highest quality craftsmanship, convenience, and communication. To learn more, go to bluffton.builders forward slash ADU. Despite wishful thinking and countless failed attempts, scientific studies have proved that money does not grow on trees. However, choosing the right advisor and fiduciary and the appropriate investment strategy might be the factors in making your money grow. Maybe not on trees, but in your portfolio. Hi, I'm Bruce Wood, Managing Partner of Hilton Head Capital Partners a registered investment advisory firm and fiduciary. We represent Raymond James Financial and Charles Schwab. Why? Because we are getting older and we need fresh ideas, flexibility, and constant contact with your portfolio manager and CPA and attorney. For 35 years, we have been providing my clients with customized portfolio management to meet those fresh ideas. We do not do mutual funds or commission products. We work for you. So save a tree and let's start a conversation on growing your assets. Five minutes in the quarter here from Ridgeland High School. And what a beautiful uh, field this is, oh, Marcus. What a facility. They said they've been on the works about, about 18 months on this project. It's done, it's new, and it's gorgeous. And uh, obviously we'll withhold this deluge that we're in the middle of here yes, in the indeed. low country. Here's a run to the outside as Mo Brown tries to take it, and he gets snuffed out by a plethora of sharks. I guess a school of sharks it would be. Big hit there for May River. Yeah, and I just I, – I, I don't like the call this early in the game. I think you're putting – you know, your your coaches are putting your players at a disadvantage. I think you got to play field position and, and let your players get into the flow of the game to start things off. Now you're pinned uh, – well, uh, May River's going to get the ball on their – on the Ridgeland Jaguars, what, 34-yard line. Right. And uh, position themselves to put another touchdown on the board here only seven minutes into the game. So I question the call, but – you know, maybe the coach's philosophy there was to, if you get a first down, that inspires the team, which it would, but it didn't. First down for May River. They're up 8 nothing. It was the Jaden Jones drive earlier. Now Ridgeland looks like they want to blitz, and they're going up the middle with Jaden Jones. He's got some room down the right side. He could be gone 10-5 into the end zone for the touchdown. Jaden Jones taking off, and it's 14 to nothing. Yeah, once again, Jones showing speed on the on the on the corner there. You know, the the safety had a, a, a an angle on him, should have caught him, but Jones just showing that elusive speed and really, you know, why he's considered one of the top players to watch here right. in the entire state of South Carolina. Yep. Fourteen nothing in favor of May River, and again they set up in that different or unusual formation here. We figure it'll be a try for two. Now they go into the extra point formation. And it's number 19 that's going to be doing the kicking here. Nathan Dalton. And it's up and through right down the middle. It's 15-0 in favor of May River. We're back with more right after this. We connect people to their work, to their families, to all things essential. That's why your Touchstone Energy Cooperative is here every day, making life easier in all the ways that matter. And of all the connections we make, we know none are more powerful than the human connection. Palmetto Electric Cooperative, your source for power and information. Living on the coast offers a unique lifestyle. But with that comes the need for a specialized approach to helping protect residents and business owners from year-round winds, high tides, and torrential rain. Since 1850, our family-owned business has been helping friends and neighbors navigate whatever Mother Nature has thrown our way. At CT Lowndes, we know coastal insurance. Visit us at ctlowndes.com. Let us help you prepare for hurricane season. 
We welcome you back. 15 nothing in favor of May River first quarter. 349 to go. I know that you like the casual life, Daniel. For for sure. Let's let's hear from casual living. I didn't move down here to be stressed out. No, I like it casual. I like my lifestyle. So let's uh, give a shout out to Casual Living Fireside and Grillin for the casual life. Here's the return, and it's to the 26 yard line, number 13 on the return for Ridgeland Hardyville. And that's Wesson Smith. And Marcus, uh, you know, just going back to what I said, uh, just after the fourth down stop by May River, the very next play, Jaden Jones gets up the gut for a 34-yard scamper. Right. And you're down 15 points, really, right out of the bat. And you mentioned before we came on air that how Ridgeland would start would be a true key to this game. Because yeah. they've been down early in their three contests thus far. Absolutely. More of the same. And they came back and did a very nice job in their first two as we've got a flag down. 3.43 to go. And it's going to be going back to about the 20-yard line for Ridgeland. First down at 15. So, yeah, they, they played really well coming back in their opening game against Battery Creek. And then... Uh, also played well, or their opening game, excuse me, against Estill, and then played well as well against Battery Creek. But both slow starts. As here's a run to the right side, and it's Smith again taking it to about the 30-yard line. But May River as well, and I was a little bit surprised to see the start that they've had. They lost, as we talked about on Talk of the Town a couple of weeks ago, to West Ashley 7-3. to They ended up playing from out of the region earlier against uh, New Hampstead, I believe it was, and lost 47-27. to So they're, they're kind of looking to get things rolling themselves. Yeah, to come out and play two really uh, perennial state powers in both those first two games has got to bode well for them, albeit they were, they were losses. But it gets this team ready for region play for sure. Second down, and here's a run to the right side as it's Mo Brown taking it to the 30-yard line in on the stop was number two, that is Cameron Mitchell, wide receiver, defensive back, 5'9", a buck 60. Yeah, and there you see some of the elusiveness, both of, uh, of, of, of Jones, or excuse me, of Maurice Brown, and number 13 there. Who is number 13, Marcus? I believe that's Wesson Smith. Smith, yeah. yeah. Uh, two good runs in a row to give Ridgeland their first uh, first down of the night. Right. And they are showing they can move the ball. They've got some quickness there in the skill positions. Two minutes and 45 seconds to go. Out of the shotgun goes Maurice Mo Brown. He's got the snap. He's rolling right. He's across the 30. He's got a little bit of running room. He picks up about six. He's forced out of bounds. Oh, boy, that could be a flag. Maybe. Uh, a little chippy there on the sideline. For sure. Thomas Reich was there to make the stop, a little push and shoving, and then the toss of the football into Reich's shoulder pad. 14, uh, make it again, 15 nothing May River with the lead. Two minutes, 35 seconds to go. I like what I'm seeing from the Jaguars here, though. So, uh, you know, a little fight back in Yeah, them. absolutely. Um, that sometimes that 15 to nothing deficit right off the bat can wake a team up and get their attention. Uh-oh, it looks like we might be dropping backwards They're going again. backwards because of the penalty. I think that was a, a hold that was called as well. So back to the 25-yard line it goes. 2.35 to go. Again, Marcus Walsh, Daniel Court, Larry Jackamot, Christopher Sanders, Jessa Jeremiah, Jeremy Pope, Maria Soden. We're all with you here tonight. At the Interstate 95 Bowl on WHHI Sports, the first game of the 2022 season, our 16th year broadcasting football, and it happens to be the 30th anniversary of WHHI television. Look at that run across the wow. 40 to the 43-yard line. Big play for Mo Brown, number one. It's what we were looking for all game. He's got the arm. We may not see much of that with the weather tonight. He's got the wheels, too, and he just showed him off right there for a huge first down and a gain of about 20. What a what an effort. What an individual effort by Mo Brown there. 
um, really we, was. We've got a timeout. All right, sideline report time, and our sideline is coming to you thanks to Luke Garonski at Consolidated Planning. Greatly appreciate our sponsors. We're going to check in right now with the athletic director from Ridgeland. Rodney Barr is here, and we're going to see what's going on. Thanks for taking a minute with us. Thank you. Thank you. Lots to talk about, really. First, I want to just check in on football, how the season's going. A new stadium here, I understand. Yes, uh, we've been blessed to have a new stadium here in Jasper County Sports Facility here. Um, it's been a year in the making. Um, proud of the opportunity for our young kids to get a chance to play on this nice field. We've had a rough go so far football-wise in terms of wins and losses, but just proud of our young men for continuing to persevere and believing in the process and hopefully we can come out with a big win tonight. Yeah, well said. Well, we look forward to seeing what happens, obviously. I do want to talk a little bit about the transition that the school is going through. So previously, two schools were one. And how are things going? Well, with that transition, um, obviously, big transition. Now we have two high schools with uh, middle high schools, one in Hardyville and one in Ridgeland. Um, got a four-year athletic plan. So at least for two years, we'll only have varsity sports in Ridgeland. But in year number three, we'll be full go on the Hardyville side and the Ridgeland side for varsity sports. Big changes over here. Lots to take a look at. And we look forward to seeing how things unfold. But it sounds like it's going well so far. Uh, before we head back to football, let's just quickly talk a little bit about other sports. What's all going on? How are things looking? On the varsity side, we have varsity volleyball and JV volleyball going on on the Rizlin side. Then we have uh, middle school volleyball in Hardyville, as well as middle school football. Um, so we got a little bit of everything going on right now. Um, volleyball, middle school wide is their first game next week. Uh, varsity volleyball in Rizland has played two games so far, and they open up the region on next week. So excited about what those young ladies and young men are doing on the football field and on the volleyball court, and I'm um, just excited about everything they're doing. Uh, we'll have to check in as things unfold. Thanks for taking a break with us here for this sideline report. We appreciate you. Thank you. We appreciate you too. We'll see you in a minute. Okay, we're back here. 120 to go. One minute, 20 seconds. Ball at the 49 yard line. Out of the shotgun is Mo Brown after a big play and they're into May River territory. It's a fake handoff and it's up the middle and Mo Brown's gonna take it to the 41 yard line. Well, I'll tell you, if uh, the first drive for May River was the Jaden Jones drive, this is already turning out to be the Maurice Mo Brown drive. I mean, That's he's right. Kind of single-handedly moving the Jaguars down the field systematically, but doing a lot with with just uh, desire and 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 uh, some will and uh, my gosh, uh, some elusiveness. He yeah. was he was two plays ago, Marcus, on the big run. He was stopped in the backfield twice was able to get out of there and then used, you know, his just pure athletic ability to make the rest of the run happen. Ball to 42-yard line. 26 seconds to go in the first. Man goes in motion. That is Brown, and there's a loss on the play. And that was Smith, who is getting up slowly. Speaking of slowly, that was just a slow developing play, and it allowed the defensive line there, the May River Sharks, to get some penetration and get in the backfield there. They really got to get off the ball a little bit quicker and uh, get, get up, find those holes quickly, and get into the secondary because that's where they're having their success. That's the end of the first quarter. 15-0 May River, second quarter action of the Interstate 95 Bowl, next on WHHI. Let casual living, fireside and grilling inspire your outdoor style. Stop by and shop our 15,000 square foot showroom for the perfect patio furniture, fire pits, umbrellas, grills, outdoor kitchens and more. We're here to help turn your outdoor space into a haven of luxury and style. We offer delivery and setup. We're the only company that services what we sell. Please come by as we love during your business. Casual. This is the mower that cut the lawn where you laid on your back so a princess could fly. The Xmark Radius will get you on and off the lawn quickly with the signature cut, comfort, and reliability more landscape pros trust. Xmark, 
official mowers of the backyard life. Visit your local dealer or explore the Xmark radius online for special finance offers available now. Imagine how inconvenient your life would be without power. No lights, no refrigeration, no heating or cooling, no electronics. But with a Generac Home Standby Generator, you will have power when you need it most. Generac Generators automatically provide backup power after sensing a power outage. So your life goes on uninterrupted. No doubt we're living in uncertain times and many of our loved ones are spending more time at home. Selectric will have you prepared when the power goes out. Selectric, done right now. In life, some things just go together, like a burger and fries, and home and auto insurance from State Farm. So make it a combo. Combining your home and auto insurance could save you time and money, and who doesn't like that? Just call State Farm agent Kevin Severe and find out how you can start saving today. It's just another way we're here to help life go right. Hi, I'm Chip Welch with OC Welch Ford. Come pick out your brand new 2022 Expedition or Explorer with over 50 to choose from. With interest rates as low as 1.9%, call or come see me today at OC Welch Ford in Hardyville, South Carolina. All right, it's time to give out our Community Leader Award. And you know, I came down and saw this group of fine folks preparing for game day. Uh, I think it's really fitting that the Jasper County Sheriff's Office gets our Community Leader Award. The Community Leader, of course, presented by our sponsor, Beth Drake of Keller Williams. We greatly appreciate our sponsors, as we do the men and women who are here on game day, keeping everyone safe. So wanted to say a huge thank you to you all for all you do present you this award for your office and we sure do appreciate what you do here thank you thank you very much and that's it Beth Drake community leader award we'll be right back welcome back to Ridgeland High School it is 15 to nothing in favor of May River Marcus Walsh Daniel Court Larry Jackamot the rest of our crew with you Jessa Jeremiah doing our sideline reports we've got Christopher Sanders Maria Soden and Jeremy Pope working the production angle for us tonight. Ridgeland with the football. And out of the shotgun goes Maurice Brown. It's a handoff to the left side. And this is going to be taken across the 40 to the 36, maybe the 35-yard line. And so far, Daniel, this, this drive for Ridgeland is looking a lot like the previous drive that was very successful with Jaden Jones, but we're, we're seeing multiple runners for Ridgeland. This could keep them in the game. Yeah, well, when we spoke to uh, coach, uh, May River coach Rodney Summers before the game, he talked about the key to this is clearly going to be to contain quarterback Mo Brown. And right now right. they're having a little bit of difficulty doing that, um, partially because of, I think, the footing out there, but also uh, mainly because of the, the pure skill and athleticism of the quarterback uh, their number one, Maurice Brown. Ridgeland was winless last year. Here's a handoff to the left side. A lot of running room to the 20. And they're going to call it down at the 22-yard line as Smith was able to take it. They were winless again last year, but this year playing a lot better as we had talked about. And C.J. Frazier, who was the star quarterback at Bluffton, is the offensive coordinator. He led Bluffton to a state runner-up finish in 2012. He's a big reason of why this offense is looking the way it is. Yeah, I'll never forget. I watched that entire season with C.J. at the helm. He threw for 55 touchdown passes his senior year. Took them all the way to to, to uh, Clemson to play for yeah. the state finals against South Point. They had an unfortunate loss, but he's a he's a legend around here South, in football lore. South Point is something else as they knock Buford off. Did I we'll say see. South Park? No, you said South Point. Did I? Okay. Um, we'll see Buford. That's a good transition into the fact that we'll see May River next week against Buford. Um, that's Plowden is taking the football that time for Ridgeland. Well, I want to give props to the Ridgeland offensive line here. They're just doing a really good job of getting off the ball. They're sealing some of those uh, uh, talented 
linemen, defensive linemen for May River and getting outside, and that's where they're able to create. Once they're in space, you've got some athletes for Ridgeland that can create. Here's Wenson Smith taking it to the right side. He's going to stay on his feet across the 20 to about the 18-yard line. He, Maurice Brown, uh, Jaquiz Johnson, wide receiver, Javen Grant, and then O.G. Simmons, offensive lineman and defensive lineman, all returning for Ridgeland Hardyville this year. So that is definitely a big boost for them, especially on the offensive line and offensive side is third down and seven. And is it Jonathan Orr there, the right tackle, number 77? Big guy. 6'4", um, 355. How do you like him apples? That's some. Those are some big That's apples. That's a big red apple out yeah. there, man. That boy is big. That's a... Uh, a go, uh, not a Golden Delicious. I guess Golden Delicious <laughs> are red, aren't they? I don't know if May River feels that way. I need to study way. my apples, I guess. Run up the middle, and that's Brown taking it to the 11-yard line. That's another first down. Let's hear from Keller Williams, our, uh, our pregame sponsor for the season. Keller Williams, whether buying or selling your next home, call Michael Sackman of Keller Williams. We hope to see Michael here at a game real soon. Nine minutes, 15 seconds remaining in the opening half of play. 15 nothing, but Ridgeland is knocking rolling on the door. back and knocking on the door. That's exactly well, right. And another key to this drive, Marcus, is, is time of possession. They've had the ball now for a good four to five minutes. Here's a handoff, and not much doing that time as Thomas Reich and company were all over it. It's kind of hard to... Uh, to, for, for Jaden Jones and Brett Macy to hurt you, or Tanner Macy to hurt you when they're on the sidelines. That's so, right. So that's really key for the running game, the running attack here at Ridgeland is to time of possession. That's going to be critical with passing being probably um, a, 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 a weak element for both teams tonight given the weather conditions. Right. It's going to be ground and pound, so the team that can hold on to the ball is going to have a certain advantage. They've scored 20, 28, and 14 in their first three games, talking about Ridgeland in terms of game one to now. Again, most of that coming in the second half of those games against Estill, Battery Creek, and then Whale Branch last week, who looks really good this year. As there's a run to the right side, and May River's going to have none of it. A ton of May River Sharks there in on the stop. It looks like May River is starting to pick up some reads there and get some pursuit from their linebackers and even uh, um, secondary to uh, pinpoint Maurice Brown. You know what they probably need to start doing is 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 shadowing him with a with a backer, either a backer or a free safety, because he's doing all of his damage with his feet. Callaway and Green in on the stop for May River. Seven thirty three to go in the first half. Ridgeland knocking on the door again. Whistle. And it is a flag against Ridgeland. So they are backing it up again. And it seems like every time they get some momentum, Daniel, they're going backwards. Yeah, it just looked like the, the signal didn't get in on in, in time. They were going with a uh, trips formation there two backs on each side of Mo uh, Brown. And as he looks at his wristband for the play, it just didn't get off in time. So minus five more yards is gonna set up a, a, a pretty difficult third and 15 yards. Third down, 15 to go. Brown out of the gun, thinking about throwing. He's gonna take off 20, 15, 10. Has some room up the middle, down at the six-yard line. Oh, he's just so close. I think he's about a yard and a half short of the first down there, but I really like the call there. You know, he just showing pass, clearly uh, didn't have a receiver open, but he just reacted uh, instinctively and found some open space, and that's where Mo Brown is going to be dangerous, and that's got to be what scares Coach Rodney Brown and the secondary there of May River. About six minutes left in this opening half. Football at the six yard line. This is a critical play here, Marcus. So it's fourth down and about uh, three yards. And 
And now another whistle. 6.01 to play. And this is going to be a timeout. We'll take it with them. Be right back on WHHI Sports TV. Here at Island Foot and Ankle Surgery, we offer both surgical and non-surgical foot and ankle care. Through comprehensive patient education, we'll prescribe a treatment plan suited to your individual needs. Our doctors are board certified with over 20 years of experience and recognized in the industry both nationally and internationally in surgery training and education. If you're experiencing any pain or disruptions to everyday life, we are here to help you. Call us today for an appointment. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. Hey, are you looking to make living in the low country a little more affordable? Do you have a detached garage just like this one? Well, why not add on to it and make it a passive income opportunity? They call this a carriage house or an accessory dwelling unit or ADU. By building an ADU, you will increase your home's value, have an opportunity to actually make some money, and give someone a high quality home to live in and rent just like this one. My name is Ryan from Bluffton Builders and my goal is to make home ownership more enjoyable through the highest quality craftsmanship, convenience, and communication. To learn more, go to Bluffton.Builders forward slash ADU. We welcome you back. We've got six minutes, one second remaining here in the second quarter of the Interstate 95. Bull Marcus Walsh, Larry Jackamock, Daniel Court next to me. The rest of our WHHI sports crew with you. As the snap goes to Mo Brown, he's going to take it left side and he's going to scamper down to the two. What an effort there. Again, showing just will and drive. I mean, Mo Brown is not a big guy, but he's strong. Uh, he's, he's gotten a lot of yards after contact tonight, and that's just a huge play here early in the game. Five minutes, 46 seconds left. Reminder that it's Stokes Toyota Beaufort, your friendly community leader. Stop by for a truly exceptional experience. Our national anthem sponsor once again this season is O.C. Welch Ford. Nobody reads an O.C. Welch ad like my pal Daniel Court. O.C. Welch Ford. Go see O.C. today for a great car buying experience. How was that? That was outstanding. <laughs> been, been waiting to hear that from you for about what? Eight, been, nine months now? I know, it's been too long, man. I've, I, I, I've missed it. It's great to be back in the seat with yes, you indeed. and calling high school football. There's nothing more exciting. I wish the weather was cooperating with us, but this is nothing new for us here. We've been getting rain like this in the low country for the last almost two months. You know what? Considering what it's been, this actually is cooperation. No, actually, I kind of prefer it. You know, yeah. we, it's hot and muggy here in the summers, and it's actually pleasant. It's cooling we're, things down a little we're bit. We're not sweating and stuck in 100% humidity tonight. That's right. So let's let's look. Let's take the high road. Are they short? They are short. Oh my God! How about this? That's a heartbreaker right there for Ridgeland. What a drive to come uh. up just a couple of inches short to give the ball back to May River. Well, that's a that's a pivotal moment in this game. I mean. Ridgeland gets that first down, likely goes on to score. We've got a football game. In honor of our buddy Kevin Libby, I'm going to do my best with this one. Hilton Head Capital Partners, navigating you to financial freedom. <laughs> Good shout out to our buddy Kevin. 546 to go in the second quarter. We'll see Kevin hopefully here at a football game down the line this season, but definitely once basketball starts, and uh, I'll be seeing him in the next couple of weeks, I'm sure for another edition of the podcast that he and I do. Miss you out here on the gridiron though, Lipster. Oh, absolutely we do. 5.42 to play in the first half. It remains 15-0, and we are gonna have a penalty. Offsides against Ridgeland. And, and the penalties are starting to add yeah. up a little bit. Yeah, it is. And I think you know a lot of this is just early season um, mistakes. You see it a lot. But a team like Ridgeland just can't afford to give 
May River any advantage. They're, they're, they're behind the eight ball enough, being 15 points down. And uh, just to spot them yards is just going to be a long night for them if they right. continue this. They've yep. got to tighten up a little bit. But listen, um, so far it's been a very competitive contest. Oh, for sure. I think the biggest difference is the the fourth down where they went for it deep in their own territory and, and, and didn't get it. And Jaden Jones scores on the next play. Otherwise, right. we've got a, got a real tight game. That was Macy on the last run. And now he's going out of the shotgun. He's going to take off, and he's got a plethora of green. Big time green in front of him to the 21. Well, oh, he shows good shiftiness, too, as he gets into the secondary. I've got two good-looking running quarterbacks. Yeah, those legs are always churning with, they are. with Macy. And obviously with him playing basketball, too, it, uh, it's good to have those legs going all the time. He's got the quicks. 4.43 to go in the first half. We'll have our first half thoughts and look ahead to the second half here shortly. You know, one of the things that Rodney Summers said, Marcus, as we were talking to him, um, was that they're the only school in the area that does not have turf yet. Yeah. And they've been practicing in the mud for months. The, the muck and the mire for sure. So to get out here and be on a turf field has got to feel like, uh, I mean, it's got to feel like a track meet it's, for them. It's got to feel nice, but I'll ask you, certainly being the former quarterback that you are as well, does it feel like there's a little bit of a difference um, that actually catches them off guard for as much as they're practicing in the mud and everything? Well, I would think so. You know, what, what, what happens is it gets psychological, but each, each time you plant on a muddy field, you're planning for some give in the turf. So these guys, it's, it's almost like a shock to your system for the right. first quarter and a half. Yep. So I, I think May River's still feeling their way around this field. For... 20 and counting to go in the first half. Flag against May River. Backs him up to the 11-yard line. Reminder that don't fumble with ankle, or uh, rather island foot and ankle. If you want a touchdown without pain, call island foot and ankle surgery today. There's a huge gaping hole. Speaking Big of, hole speaking of Jones to the 31. Speaking of feet and ankles. That's, that's a nice pair right there Yes, Jaden Jones has. He's got some wheels on he's, him, and and he is powerful. He's got a little bit of everything based off the fact that he can play some defense, too, for May River. That's right. He's one of the considered one of the best defensive back prospects in the state, and he, he is already a commit to Morehouse College. And here he goes again, cutting to the left side 40. He's got the 45, 50, and into Ridgewood territory at about the 45-yard line. Man, he gets started, he has those stutter steps, and then he can just take off like lightning. Well, you see him planting those feet, and I just think, like I just said, I think it takes about a quarter to get adjusted from going to a muddy practice field for months to this turf, and uh, it looks like Jaden Jones has found his comfort zone. He's planting those feet, he's making really precise cuts, and once he gets going north-south, He's not the kind of back that a secondary wants to see coming straight at him. Right. And he's back there again. They're going to fake it to him. And oh, yeah, Macy going to be able to move a little bit. A couple of guys in on the play for Ridgeland, including Kareem Stevens, 2023 defensive lineman. Plays on defense as well as offense at the lineman's spot. We've got another offside penalty here on Ridgeland. It just looks like they're anxious. They're not timing the snap. They're, they're not getting the cadence, and a lot of that could be credit to the center and the quarterback. Macy goes out of the gun, fakes the handoff, actually throws it. It's caught in a huge gain down to the 12, maybe the 13-yard line by big number 88 of May River. What a catch and run for Kaysen Simmons, the tight end, 6'5", 245. He's in there for the starting tight end. Rumbling, Ooh. bumbling, and stumbling. I love the play call there, Marcus. A little uh, play action and found his tight end wide open down the seam. Michael and Mandar is out. Here's a run up the middle. It's that's six. Macy. And we're still waiting on the call. Oh, he might be a tad bit down. short. He's down. He's got to be down around the six-inch line. So Namdar is out. 
Uh, another guy that is out is Perry on the running back and defensive side. Yeah, one of their top players. This is a good week to rest them, though. Yeah. So those guys are out, and here's a handoff up towards the middle. I don't think he got there. It's very close. Well, great defense by Ridgeland. Good you penetration. Got that right. Two minutes, five seconds remaining in the opening half. They are inches, and I mean inches, short. Now here's where it's just paramount to, to focus on ball security. You get down, sometimes you can get comfortable when you're this close to the goal line, but you see a lot of fumbles in, the, in these situations. So just hold on to the ball and get upfield just like that. And Jaden Jones takes it in for six for the touchdown. Just like that indeed for Jaden Jones. He kind of reminds you, at least he's reminding me a little bit here in this game based off the fact that he's changed his body a little bit. He's got a little Derrick Henry in him, I think. Wow, boy, that's quite a comparison. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, true north-south power runner with, with speed. Yeah. Uh, Marcus, it looks like already we might have uh, player of the game materializing. What do you think? I, I think you are correct, sir. Still a long way to go, but we'll see. Extra point attempt on the way. The snap is good, and the hold is good. Kicks up and through, and with one minute and 16 seconds remaining in the first half, it is May River up big. Back with more after this on WHHI. I think my biggest fear coming back to college was failure. I had failed before, but TCL really did give me that confidence. The professors really want you to achieve and accomplish your goals. And TCL made coming back to college really easy by making it fun, affordable, and providing that place for us to feel like we can succeed and make it work. I would tell somebody that if they wanted to change their life, that this is what they needed to do. Hi, I'm Barry Edwards with Island Tire and Automotive Services. Here at Island Tire, we like to provide you with peace of mind by using the best with Michelin tires. With 19 plants in North America, seven of those are here in South Carolina. Michelin makes it easy to support local giving because they provide the best quality, top leading innovation and service. Three things Michelin and Island Tire and Automotive Services have in common, quality, innovation, and service. Give us a call today. Life is full of choices, and the choices we make directly affect our quality of life. Our day is much easier when we don't hit the snooze alarm 10 times and show up late for work. We feel better when we eat a well-balanced meal versus running through the drive through And when it comes to your comfort at home or in the workplace, the result of hiring a fly-by-night repair guy or award-winning professional is night or day. Life is full of choices. For your home, for your family, for your environment. Make the superior choice. Call Superior today. Hi, I'm Chip Welch with OC Welch Ford. Come pick out your brand new 2022 Expedition or Explorer with over 50 to choose from. With interest rates as low as 1.9%, call or come see me today at OC Welch Ford in Hardyville, South Carolina. We welcome you back to Ridgeland High School. It is 22-0 in favor of Ridgeland. A uh, favor of May River, I beg your pardon, is Ridgeland will get the football and hope to capitalize on their last drive, maybe get some points this time as the flag flies in on the return, and it's out to about the 34-yard line. Yeah, that was a painful about two-and-a-half to three-minute sequence yep. if you're a Ridgeland uh, Jaguar fan. You know, you get down uh, to basically the three-yard line of May River, and he missed the first down by a few inches, and May River comes back, goes, what, 97 yards? Really impressive drive, both mixing uh, uh, the attack with, with both Macy and Jaden Jones on the ground to the tight end there over the middle to set up the score. But that's, you know, if you look at those two minutes, two and a half minutes, that's a 14-point swing. That's kind yeah. of devastating for a Absolutely. team. Absolutely. Reminder that you don't need to get penalized with processing fees. Call Paid Proudly today. And Ridgeland with the football, backed up at the 10 yard line, little screen pass and some running room as, oof, what a hit. 
by... Great open field tackle there. Number two for May River. That is Cameron Mitchell. We've called his name a couple of times tonight. As Brown, I believe that was, making the catch. Yeah, nice play design there. I'd like to see a little bit more of that out of Ridgeland to try to keep this May River Sharks defense off guard some. you got to mix it up as best you can, and that was a great play call on first down. 18 seconds and counting left in the first half. 22-0 May River. Ridgeland with the football. Brown going to take it up the middle off this snap out of the shotgun. And he's going to run to the 34-yard line. 7.9 seconds to go. We've got a whistle. I thought I saw a flag fly in. Well, May River, or excuse me, uh, Ridgeland is proving, Marcus, that they can move the ball. And I think we've seen that, even though they've had three early season, season losses. Correct. The offense hasn't been the problem. And it's just the defense is a little bit porous at times. But um, We've got a timeout. Be back in a moment. Yep. In life, some things just go together, like a burger and fries, and home and auto insurance from State Farm. So make it a combo. Combining your home and auto insurance could save you time and money, and who doesn't like that? Just call State Farm agent Kevin Severe and find out how you can start saving today. It's just another way we're here to help life go right. Let casual living, fireside and grilling inspire your outdoor style. Stop by and shop our 15,000 square foot showroom for the perfect patio furniture, fire pits, umbrellas, grills, outdoor kitchens and more. We're here to help turn your outdoor space into a haven of luxury and style. We offer delivery and setup. We're the only company that services what we sell. Please come by as we love during your business. Casual living. We welcome you back. 7.9 to go. Reminder that at Stokes Toyota, you can visit them. Stokes Toyota of Beaufort, your friendly community dealer for a truly exceptional experience. Again, 7.9 to go. And this is going to be the last play of the half. Brown goes deep, and it's picked off by number four, Corey Folk. He's tackled at the 40-yard line. That'll end the first half. 22-0 May River. We'll come back with our first half thoughts. A look to the second half next in the Interstate 95 Bowl only on WHHI Sports TV. Living on the coast offers a unique lifestyle, but with that comes the need for a specialized approach to helping protect residents and business owners from year-round winds, high tides, and torrential rain. Since 1850, our family-owned business has been helping friends and neighbors navigate whatever Mother Nature has thrown our way. At CT Lounge, we know coastal insurance. Visit us at ctlounge.com. Let us help you prepare for hurricane season. Imagine how inconvenient your life would be without power. No lights, no refrigeration, no heating or cooling, no electronics. But with a Generac Home Standby Generator, you will have power when you need it most. Generac generators automatically provide backup power after sensing a power outage. So your life goes on uninterrupted. No doubt we're living in uncertain times and many of our loved ones are spending more time at home. Selectric will have you prepared when the power goes out. Selectric. Done right now. This is the mower that cut the lawn that became the place their kids grew up. The legendary Xmark Laser Z is the zero turn mower more landscape pros trust. For cut quality, comfort, and reliability, Xmark, official mowers of the backyard life. Visit your local dealer or explore the Xmark Laser Z online for special finance offers available now. Welcome to the Stokes Toyota Buford Halftime Show. Marcus Walsh, Daniel Court with you. It's 22 to nothing May River. And Daniel, this game has really been pretty close in terms of the speed that we see from both sides. Ridgeland has just had a couple of penalties not go their way and drives have stalled, but they have played as we expected very competitively. Yeah, really the score the scoreboard does not tell the story of the first half. Two key plays that I go back to are the 
Ridgeland Jaguars going for a fourth and what I would call long and getting stopped deep in their own territory. Jaden Jones goes on a 34-yard scamper the next play. And then, of course, Ridgeland goes on a long four, five, maybe almost six-minute drive, gets right. down to the three-yard line, doesn't get the first down by about two inches. Those are the two key plays in the first half. Otherwise, we've got a lot closer ball game than 22 to nothing. We sure do. It's turning into a track meet despite the weather. You know, we've had so much rain, and the turf is just saturated. But the ability of these guys to run, talking about Brown, Jaden Jones, there have been we've seen Macy run a little bit. We've seen Brown, number two, run a little bit as well. It's been big for both these teams. What are some keys going into the second half, especially for the defenses? Because I don't think we're going to see much air attack in the second half. Yeah, and I think that's why the defenses are starting to get their cues. They're, you know, it takes a little bit, but you know, when you're a one-dimensional offense, like both these teams are kind of forced to be tonight because of the weather, uh, defenses start cueing in on cadences and plays. But I would, I, th I think the key for Ridgeland, we saw a little bit of it right here at the end of the first half. Yeah. They started putting the ball in the air. Uh, Mo Brown has the arm. He has the receivers. They've got some great athletes. So I think if they can mix it up and be a little bit more balanced, keep uh, May River's fast and scrappy defense off balance, they can put some points on the board. Look out for Xavier Plowdenas, too, in the second half. I think he may have a chance to break off with Ridgeland, get them back in this game. Should be an interesting second half. The third quarter coming up straight ahead. With Daniel, I'm Marcus Walsh. The rest of our crew are happy to be back on the gridiron in 2022 on WHHI Sports. Second half, next. Hi, I'm Beth Drake. If you're serious about buying or selling a home, you need an experienced real estate professional who knows the local market and how to get you the best price. Having a degree in interior design gives me a unique edge when helping my buyers and sellers. From staging and marketing properties to assisting buyers with finding the home of their dreams, I'm delighted to be different by design. Call me at 422-7500 and let me help you every step of the way. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. All right, we're enjoying our halftime here, and we're going to take a moment, thanks to Brett Macy giving us a moment of his time, Athletic Director of May River. Also, thanks to Stokes Toyota of Beaufort, one of our sponsors, sponsoring our halftime show this evening. But, Brett, boy, thanks so much for taking some time with us on this wet night. Yes, absolutely. I appreciate you guys having me, as always. Speaking of the wet night, you know, how has the rain really affected athletics so far? We have had just a, an unusual amount of rain so far this season. It's been brutal. I mean, we haven't had a lot of contests. Um, we've had two swim meets, outdoor swim meets canceled. Um, tennis hasn't played yet. They've had two matches canceled this week. I think they've only practiced four times. Um, even football, um, we don't have our turf yet. So we had a bye week last week. We've had 10 days of preparation leading to this game. I think we practiced really three times, three real practices. So it's, it's been difficult to say the least. I know that makes your job tough because you're, you're really having to navigate, shift, reschedule, all of those things. On the plus side, though, sounds like girls golf is doing really well. Give us the highlights. Yep, girls golf has obviously been a mainstay in, in 4A state championships. They've won the last two. Um, they're led by two sophomores this year in Robin Zetrauer and, and Claire Green. Um, they've, they've had some big meets already, um, some of the best competition across the state, and they fared well. So they're looking to three-peat. Um, so we'll see how it goes. But really, they've been our, our big highlight this year. So so far again. We'll have to follow along as the season continues to unfold and we'll hope that you all can get some more games and meets in as things go but thanks for taking some yeah. time with us tonight. Absolutely guys appreciate having me on. And we appreciate you thanks so much. Hi I'm Barry Edwards with Island Tire and Automotive Services. Did you know that the amount of tire that's actually making contact with the road is about the same size as a slice of watermelon. And that's all you have to keep you safe. It makes sense to have the best like Michelin that's why Allen Tire has been proudly selling Michelin tires since 1978. At Allen Tire, we don't think of it as just a set of tires. You can trust us to be thinking about the safety of your car and, more importantly, what's inside. Not everyone starts their day at the same time. 
or in the same way. But no matter when or how, your local Touchstone Energy Cooperative is there to help you power every moment of it in countless ways. Because whenever it starts, one thing is certain. We never stop. Palmetto Electric Cooperative, your source for power and information. Hi, I'm Mike Zachman, broker at Keller Williams Realty. I've maintained a successful business model through multiple market shifts over time. I know this market and I know real estate. Serving 22 years in the Navy as a Navy diver, combined with a lifetime of boating on the coast, have enabled me to know the waterways that are an integral part of the Lowcountry lifestyle. Whether you're buying or selling, myself and my team can help you navigate the coastal South Carolina real estate market. Give us a call. We welcome you back to the Interstate 95 Bowl on WHHI Sports. Second half, Marcus Walsh, Daniel Court, Larry Giacomot, Jessa Jeremiah, Jeremy Pope, Christopher Sanders, and Maria Soden all with you. And as we look to the second half, Daniel, it's going to be just a big key for Ridgeland Hardyville is to finish off drives as we talked about at the half. Yeah, we were just talking to their PA announcer here. He does a great job, by he the does. way. He's he, doing he, a great he job. He brings a lot sure. of flavor and energy to the to the booth here, and hopefully to the guys out the, there. But you know, he some said, of the roar of the Jaguars. Yeah, the roar. I love it. But uh, you know, it's it's about finishing drives. He said they've had this issue all season and in their first three games, getting into the red zone. So they're proving they can move the ball against formidable opponents. But you got to finish these drives off. It can be demoralizing to a team to put that much effort and strength and, and energy into a drive and come up empty. Here's the opening kick of the second half. We're underway. It is short, and it is to the 40-yard line. And that's where Ridgeland, Har uh, Ridgeland is going to have it, formerly Ridgeland Hardyville. And Javon Grant with the return. And we were talking earlier, and I believe it was him that has a 4.5 GPA. I believe that's correct. Is that is that the right uh, individual? Because I want to make sure we give him the proper kudos. I can't tell you right now, partner. We'll, uh, we'll certainly have that for you as we continue here in the second half. Our officials tonight, James Frederick, the referee, Charles Brown, the line judge. The linesman is Kelly Wigand. Joshua Pelkey is the back judge. Addison Gerald, the umpire. And here's a run from Brown to the outside, down the sideline, across midfield, and to the 47, maybe the 46-yard line. Big run for Ridgeland, and they get a first down. Boy, number one and number two are a good one-two punch for, for Ridgeland. I tell you, two great athletes in Mo Brown and uh, who's the other Brown there? Number two. I believe it's Hamid. Hamid Brown. Yeah, I like the Brown brothers. But uh, the 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 player you were mentioning that has the 4.0, it's Anthony Grant. Anthony Grant. I, I My thought, apologies. I, thought, I knew it was a Grant. I just want to make sure we got the name right. It's Anthony Grant, who who is at really the middle of your screen here at Whiteout, number 15, has a 4.5 GPA That's and is a nationalist for track and field. That's incredible. Not much there for number 13. I believe that's uh, Smith. The carrier. 11 minutes to go in the third quarter. Well, even though that play didn't produce much, this was really just the start that Ridgeland needed. Getting the ball, establishing themselves on the ground, moving the ball, chewing some clock. If they can get in the end zone on this drive, Marcus, anything's possible. Yeah. Second down, 11, ball at the 49-yard line. Maurice Brown out of the shotgun. Moe's going to take it, and he's not going anywhere. He's hitting the deck. Adrian Gaston, the big defensive lineman with the tackle. We've seen a lot of touchdowns so far in this game. You know where I'm going, I think. Let's hear from Technical College of the Lowcountry. Step up with TCL, the Technical College of the Lowcountry. Marcus, this is, um, I'm looking at the scoreboard and thinking back to last year, 
and it's a little bit eerie. I think we were at we were at Bluffton when they were down 22 to nothing at halftime, to and Thomas late in the Hayward. third quarter to Thomas Hayward, and came back and won the football game. So, could we have a repeat performance? Oh, oh my goodness! There that is a you go. Definite flag That's, as um, Thomas Reich just absolutely decked a Ridgeland Hardyville, a Ridgeland offensive player. That is Xavier Plowden is the linebacker running back 5'10", 225 that just hit the deck. He is up, but yeah, I he's going to need a minute. I hope that young man is okay. That would be My that would be a classic description of a defenseless receiver. He's looking for the ball, has his head turned, and really takes a blindside right to the chest. You know, you, you got to... You got to applaud the aggression of the May River defender there. Correct. But you also got to use your head in that circumstance. It's third down and long, and you just can't afford to and, give up 15 yards. And the wizard, Larry Jackamont, has the information. We were talking about this previously before the game, and uh, it is the, 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 right the there. points of emphasis for targeting. You know, that, that's a defensive player. That's number one. Right. Number two, legal uniforms and equipment, and number three, sportsmanship. But right there, points of emphasis are targeting. And another flag as Brown, or rather Smith, excuse me, was taking it. And number 40 in on the stop for May River. So May River starting to get a little bit of, of chippiness going on here early in the third quarter. And yeah, these are these are big deals. This is a face mask. Big yeah, deals. you know, and, and this is just um, this this can happen to teams when they start to get comfortable. They lose that edge of concentration and discipline. This is what coaches just it will literally drive them mad. And Rodney Summers said this in his pregame interview. Yeah, you know, we've got to limit the mistakes. They're they're zero and three this season. Uh, because they played some good teams, but also because they've, they've been their own worst enemy. They've had a lot of penalties. They've turned the ball over. And this is an example of just loss of concentration and lack of discipline. May River actually 0-2. They had the bye last week. Um, but you're exactly right. They could be a little bit worse off because of those penalties and mistakes as the football is to the 20-yard line. And we've got just over nine minutes remaining in the third quarter. A reminder that Bluffton Builders is always built with integrity. And we want to give a shout out to Kevin Severe of State Farm for all your home and auto insurance needs. Kevin Severe of State Farm, our first down sponsor. We've seen a lot of those here tonight on both sides. Yeah, and Ridgeland would, would like to have a few more on this drive because that's going to get them to pay dirt. And uh, if they can convert here, I think we've got a football game. Here's... Mo Brown handing it off to Smith. Up the middle, 15 to about the 14, maybe the 13-yard line. I'll say this. We were told by, by Coach Rodney Barr before the game that his team has bought into the system. Uh, C.J. Frazier has clearly created an offensive scheme around his athletes. Yeah. But I love the fight in this football team. I have, got I, a lot of I haven't seen them let up one iota despite the, the, the difficulties with penalties, despite uh, – you know, being in the red zone and turning the ball over on downs. You know, the guys are still fighting. They're churning for yards. They're not They're not uh, giving up on plays. I, I just like to see this. It shows a lot of heart and um, bodes well for the future for this young program. It sure does, and you're exactly right. They haven't given up one bit. As there's a run, not much happening for number 21 for Ridgeland. It wasn't much, but it was enough for a first down. Seven minutes, 27 seconds remaining. You get some of the big guys no, I in think, there. I think uh, we're fourth, at a fourth, fourth down and one, fourth I beg down your pardon. And one. So here we are again. You know, the, the story of this team's season. Can they convert deep into the red zone here? This is critical. Yeah, it is. Fourth down and a yard. It is not a first down and 10, as I had previously said. 7.03 remaining in the third. Here's your big fourth down and one with Ridgeland down 22 to nothing. And it's a run up the middle by Brown. He lost the ball. He lost the ball, but there are a few Ridgeland wow. players down near the sideline. It is corralled by Amid Brown at about the 10. 
That's exactly what they needed, a little good fortune to yes. go along with effort. You know, sometimes you need the ball to bounce your way, and indeed it did that time, bouncing away from Bluff, or excuse me, May River defenders and into the arms of, of the offense. But boy, I gotta say, that first down was already achieved by Brown. He tried to make the effort to reach out. He didn't really need to do that, but right. you gotta love the effort and uh, grit of this number one, Mo Brown. He's tough. He's been outstanding, that's for sure. And let's go back down to the sideline. Actually, it looks like we've got a timeout as uh, we go to the sideline and Jessica Jeremiah. Okay, well, it wouldn't be a sideline report without checking in with the cheer team. These guys are great, keeping everyone pumped up out here. I want to say hi to you and tell us your name. Hi, I'm John Naya, John for short. I love it. You got spirit. That's what you need. And you're keeping everybody going out here in the wet, cold rain tonight. Tell us a little bit about how you prep for game night. Okay, so um, before, how we prep for game night is like we eat, then after we eat, we get dressed, after we get dressed, and we come out here and then we just cheer our boys on, you know, because like they need cheerleaders like us. I know you all do such a great job. I love it. I got to catch up with you at Media Day earlier before the season kicked off officially. Uh, second game at the new stadium. How's it going? Oh, my gosh. It's going so good. We all could not wait till we could get out here. It's here because, like, oh, my gosh. Like, y'all didn't want to see the old one. But, yeah, we really love it. New one's looking great. You all are looking great. Thanks for taking some time with us. Bye. Bye. I want to say thanks, too, to our sponsor, Luke Garonski, here on Sideline Report. Lots of fun. We appreciate it. 22 to nothing in favor of the Jag, in favor of May River, the Sharks. The Jags looking to get on the board. Marcus Walsh, Daniel Court, Larry Jackamot, Maria Soden, Joseph, uh, Jeremy Pope, Christopher Sanders, Jesse Jeremiah, we're all with you. Hand off up the middle, and Smith trying to bounce it to the left side. He's not going to. Look at He's the down effort, at the 11. Though. The effort's great. A bunch of May River Sharks there on the stop. A host of Sharks, he says. But boy, they, yeah. they are making May River work on defense. But you know, this, this drive, unlike the, the really successful drive they had in the first half, has been equal parts um, effort and equal parts good fortune and some gifts from May River. Two big penalties to keep the drive alive. And then, of course, the fumble recovery there deep in uh, their own uh, May River's territory to give them a first down. Let's see if they can capitalize, Marcus. Absolutely. 5.42 to go. Again, 22 nothing in favor of the Sharks. Out of the gun goes Brown. He's got the football throws over the middle, incomplete, and the stop happens. Boy, the pass was intended for our, our uh, aforementioned Anthony Grant there, number 15, Mr. 4.5 GPA. That was a tough catch. The ball was low, but it was there. I just got to believe, you know, the uh, we're not down there, Marcus. Fortunately, we're nice, dry, and warm here in the yes, press box. that's for sure. But down on that field, it is wet. Oh, that is that is without question. But the ball was put where the ball needed to be put, for you sure. know, which is to his defender where May River could not contend to break up the pass or intercept it, but just a really tough play. I like the play call, though. Oh, That's yeah. the balance I'd like to see from the offense. Third and 11, ball at the 13-yard line. Out of the gun goes Brown. He's got Smith to his right. Brown going back, looking to throw. Fires oh, incomplete. My. And great pressure by May River up front, trying to get through the offensive side of Ridgeland and make a stop, and they did just that. Yeah, that was uh, number five there, uh, Jalen Singleton. He, I don't know if he, it would have been a pick six. He's a, he's a big boy. He still had Maurice Brown back there that could have tracked him down, but he catches that ball, and he's running for a while. He would be rumbling, bumbling, and stumbling. <laughs> That's a big boy and, up and there. And then some. Bring the beef. Mr. Singleton, wow. But, you know, again, you can see, I mean, catching the football, throwing the football, everything uh, with respect to the air game is problematic in yep. weather like this. Certainly want to thank Fat Babies for uh, providing the dinner for us tonight as that pass is caught. But the stop 
is made there and uh, had, had a lot of great stuff earlier on here tonight. Fat Baby's going to be a big part of what we do and has been a big part of what we've done in the last couple of months here at WHHI. Yeah, had a delicious Californian sub tonight it before the game. Good. Boy, those guys can, can put it together. I had the sausage guy with some chips. It was very good. Yeah, thank you, Fat Babies, for nothing, feeding us. Nothing like a sausage sandwich. Yeah, another turnover on downs here for Ridgeland. Gosh, it's just got to be um, demoralizing to get this deep into your opponent's territory so many times and come up with uh, a goose egg. It's just um, it's very difficult to, to get over those things, but nonetheless, this team's going to keep competing. Here's a run up the middle, break it free! Look at this baby go! 40, 50, trying to get some extra room. And it's a huge run for Bay River. The largest run of the night, I would think, as number three taking it for the Sharks. That's Tanner, Tanner Macy, Macy, the quarterback, and he doggone near took it to the house. Huge run for Tanner Macy. And a first down, a Kevin Severe of State Farm. First down, there you go, Kevin. Hey, we and just, a big play. Just saw Papa Brett up here in the press box. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure he's down on the sidelines enjoying that run. He might have a wry smile on his face after that run for sure. As there's a run by Jones, and he's going to get contained by the Jags there. Able to growl and make the stop on Jones, and now a flag. Boy, too much extracurricular activity tonight. You know, these teams got to settle down. You know, this is not, you know, football is a is a intense and passionate game, but yeah. you got to harness that. You know, this is the, you know, the, the penalties after the, the whistle are just uh, devastating to your team. You got to think more about the team and less about self. That's critical, especially at the high school level. And while we're talking about officials, there's still a big need for them. Uh, HighSchoolOfficials.com for more information if you would like to consider becoming an official. It's a great way to become a role model for youth in your community. Great way to stay in shape. Hours are flexible. Income happens. You'll get extra income. And you can expand your network of contacts and have a lot of fun doing it. Four minutes, 25 seconds to go. And May River with the football at the 46-yard line. Out of the shotgun goes Tanner Macy. He's got it. He's going to throw it. It's caught. And all of a sudden, we're seeing a little bit of the air attack as number 17, Jake Ridgeway, wide receiver, defensive back, 5'11", 175, makes the grab. And he is down to the 35-yard line. And again, talking about officials, Daniel, he's got a pretty good history of officials here in the Palmetto State. Yeah, founded in 1944 in order to provide a means of training and developing football officials and maintaining a booking office for varsity football officials in South Carolina. Jones to the 30-yard line, lost the ball after he went down. And big number 50, Algarian Simmons in on the stop for Ridgeland. Going back to the officials, Mark, uh, Marcus, again, real quickly in the, in the uh, uh, South Carolina Football Officials Association. The association has grown from the original 12 officials serving four high schools wow. to its present size of 700 officials serving 206 schools. We've certainly heard from Charlie Wenske. We've heard from Carissa Niehoff. Uh, about some of the importance of rules and regulations and officials with the National Federation of High Schools. Chris, I believe, is based in Indianapolis. And we've heard from others as well, including officials that we have called action for, both on the gridiron and in, uh, in basketball games as well. Two that come to mind for me is there's a run up the middle are Tim Cahill and uh, Kyle Boskowski. I've called a lot of their action over the years on both football games and basketball games here on WHHI. Two minutes, 45 seconds or so left here in the third quarter. And May River continuing to just soak up that clock and uh, and roll as they're up 22 to nothing at the moment. Tanner Macy's really uh, dicing, ducking, diving, and dicing through this defense of uh, Ridgeland on this drive. You know, it's we, we talked about the Jaden Jones drive earlier that was actually the Jaden Jones half because right. he ran he ran for a bunch of yards but also all three touchdowns um, and right here we're seeing Tanner uh, Macy gain significant yardage on this drive with another 
after the whistle flag. I don't know what's going Those on here with these two nuts. teams, but they need to get uh, they they probably need to get the coaches if they haven't already to settle them down. Reminder that coming up later we'll have the Island Tire and Auto post game report. Island Tire, the longest serving tire retailer and auto repair on Hilton Head and Island tradition. Well, one tradition no team wants to have or, or uh, be placed as a moniker is a team that's heavily penalized. That's a bad tradition in this game. And we're seeing now, you know, the Ridgeland was more heavily penalized in the first half. We're seeing May River shoot themselves they're, in the foot. They're time starting and to time add it again. up. I you, mean, it kind of reminds me a lot of what we saw last year in games, but I think back to that first game. The amount of penalties yeah. we had in the Thomas Hayward Bluffton game, as great as that game ended up being, as there's a run up the middle, just gashing it for a huge run up the middle is May River, and that looks to be Tanner Macy again. And it is number three, the quarterback, taking it to the 26, maybe the 27 yard line. 148 to go here in the third. Again, Marcus Walsh, Larry Giacomo, Daniel Court, Christopher Sanders, Maria Soden, Jeremy Pope. And Jessa Jeremiah, of course, working the sideline and really making sure everything is rolling like clockwork tonight. Thanks so much to our entire crew. It's been great, and it's been great being here, and we still have more football to go. That's the beauty of it. Well, and in this weather, I hadn't heard anybody complain, and that's just testimony to what a great crew we have. Indeed. There's a pass from Macy, left side near the flat, breaking free across the 10, rather 15, down to about the 10-yard line. Great off-balance catch and run. For May River, it's number one, and that is Gage Duncan, wide receiver, defensive back, 5'9", 150. And we've got an injured Ridgeland Jaguar on the field. Looks like we're going to be taking a timeout for this injury. 1.14 to play in the third. Back after this on WHHI Sports TV. Here at Island Foot and Ankle Surgery, we offer both surgical and non-surgical foot and ankle care. Through comprehensive patient education, we'll prescribe a treatment plan suited to your individual needs. Our doctors are board certified with over 20 years of experience and recognized in the industry both nationally and internationally in surgery training and education. If you're experiencing any pain or disruptions to everyday life, we are here to help you. Call us today for an appointment. Life is full of choices, and the choices we make directly affect our quality of life. Our day is much easier when we don't hit the snooze alarm 10 times and show up late for work. We feel better when we eat a well-balanced meal versus running through the drive through And when it comes to your comfort at home or in the workplace, the result of hiring a fly-by-night repair guy or award-winning professional is night or day. Life is full of choices. For your home, for your family, for your environment. Make the superior choice. Call Superior today. In life, some things just go together, like a burger and fries, and home and auto insurance from State Farm. So make it a combo. Combining your home and auto insurance could save you time and money, and who doesn't like that? Just call State Farm agent Kevin Severe and find out how you can start saving today. It's just another way we're here to help life go right. Welcome back here to the Interstate 95 Bowl. Marcus Walsh, Daniel Court, Larry Giacomot, again, the rest of our WHHI sports crew with you. May River with the football at about the three. And going out of the shotgun, taking the snap is Jaden Jones. He's going to go up the gut. And the football looked to get across. I haven't seen a signal yet. Looks like and he's down. Looks like he is down by just an inch, a minute an short. Number 21 getting up for Ridgeland. Second down, goal to go. 35.3 seconds to go in the quarter. And again, Macy now back behind. Oh, no. This, Shotgun, it's got to be. They did score. So Okay, they did. I did not see. We, we missed the call. Here. Yeah, I didn't see any signal. So it was a touchdown. The extra point is up and good. And it continues to be all May River. Back with more next. 
think my biggest fear coming back to college was failure. I had failed before, but TCL really did give me that confidence. The professors really want you to achieve and accomplish your goals. And TCL made coming back to college really easy by making it fun, affordable, and providing that place for us to feel like we can succeed and make it work. I would tell somebody that if they wanted to change their life, that this is what they needed to do. Let casual living, fireside and grilling inspire your outdoor style. Stop by and shop our 15,000 square foot showroom for the perfect patio furniture, fire pits, umbrellas, grills, outdoor kitchens and more. We're here to help turn your outdoor space into a haven of luxury and style. We offer delivery and setup. We're the only company that services what we sell. Please come by as we love during your business. Casual living. We welcome you back. 36.3 seconds to go. 29 to nothing, May River with the lead. On a touchdown scamper, and there's the kickoff. And it's gonna drive Ridgeland way back to about the 10 yard line. And Brown on the return, there's a flag. It looks like this may be going backwards already. He goes out of bounds about the 36 yard line. Daniel, let's hear from Consolidated Planning. Luke Garonski with Consolidated Planning for local experienced financial planning. And Selectric is your Power Pro Elite Generic dealer in the Low Country, done right now. Speaking of right now, the and it's actually, I think, generic, possibly. You're close enough. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> nice, 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 nice effort. Um, yeah, speaking of right now, it, right now what Ridgeland needs to do is just focus on the things they can control. Um, the score is the score. you got to forget about that at this point. You can't really do much until you put together a drive, and the only way to do that is one play at a time. So the guys got to just focus, keep playing with heart like they have been all the, the entire game, the entire season, and just see what happens. 26 seconds to go. There's a whole bunch of movement going on. Things have been pretty chippy here in the uh, in the third quarter. Well, it is the I-95 Bowl, isn't it, Marcus? Correct. That's that's a pretty stressful stretch of pavement. <laughs> maybe it, it maybe it, tra maybe it translated sense. into this contest. We've, we've got a player down. Back with more next. Living on the coast offers a unique lifestyle, but with that comes the need for a specialized approach to helping protect residents and business owners from year-round winds, high tides, and torrential rain. Since 1850, our family-owned business has been helping friends and neighbors navigate whatever Mother Nature has thrown our way. At CT Lounge, we know coastal insurance. Visit us at ctlounge.com. Let us help you prepare for hurricane season. Hi, I'm Mike Zachman, broker at Keller Williams Realty. I've maintained a successful business model through multiple market shifts over time. I know this market and I know real estate. Serving 22 years in the Navy as a Navy diver, combined with a lifetime of boating on the coast, have enabled me to know the waterways that are an integral part of the low country lifestyle. Whether you're buying or selling, myself and my team can help you navigate the coastal South Carolina real estate market. Give us a call. We welcome you back after the injury. 10 seconds and counting left in the third. And I don't think there's gonna be another play. We're down to two, one. And that will do it for the third quarter. We're back and now we're gonna take another break. We'll be back again. <laughs> that was quick. After this, indeed it was on WHHI Sports TV. Stay right there. Despite wishful thinking and countless failed attempts, scientific studies have proved that money does not grow on trees. However, choosing the right advisor and fiduciary and the appropriate investment strategy might be the factors in making your money grow. Maybe not on trees, but in your portfolio. Hi, I'm Bruce Wood, Managing Partner of Hilton Head Capital Partners, 
a registered investment advisory firm and fiduciary. We represent Raymond James Financial and Charles Schwab. Why? Because we are getting older and we need fresh ideas, flexibility, and constant contact with your portfolio manager and CPA and attorney. For 35 years, we have been providing my clients with customized portfolio management to meet those fresh ideas. We do not do mutual funds or commission products. We work for you. So save a tree and let's start a conversation on growing your assets. Hi, I'm Chip Welch with OC Welch Ford. Come pick out your brand new 2022 Expedition or Explorer with over 50 to choose from. With interest rates as low as 1.9%, call or come see me today at OC Welch Ford in Hardyville, South Carolina. It doesn't take a meteorologist to tell that it's raining right now. Just happened to see it as there's a run to the outside and uh, ball is loose. It looks like near the sideline. And that's what you would expect. I mean, Marcus, we it's been it's been wet all day long, but it hasn't we've, been coming down like this. We have to give a lot of credit, of course, to our great crew that we've mentioned a ton tonight. But I'm going to give just a little bit of extra credit to our meteorologist slash production assistant slash interviewer, because she's done some of that too. Maria Soden has really done just amazing stuff. Everybody has. But whenever I think of weather anymore, I think of Maria. She does a great job with she's, that on the news. She's coming. like She's a hero tonight. Oh, I mean, this man. Is, this is just really difficult weather to contend with and, and we've got a broadcast and we do and it's to the 15 yard line on a run to the right by maurice brown and as if the saturation from the rain and dew in the morning and everything else isn't bad enough it's 71 degrees oh by the way it's 100 percent humidity yeah i just can't imagine what everybody that's on the field feels like right now it's damp it's yeah, really, really, and, it's, and it's warm, and that makes it probably yep. feel even worse. Yeah, the ball is just it's. Uh, Here's Brown, and you probably played in a lot of these conditions when you were playing at Furman and whatnot, and it's going the other way, as Brown tried to kick it to the outside, and May River said, "Oh no, you don't." Well, just imagine somebody handing you, Marcus, uh, a small watermelon that's soaking wet. That's what holding this football feels like tonight. Yep. We're going to throw it down to the sideline. Jesse Jeremiah, take it away. All right. We enjoy taking a break over here on the sideline, so we're doing it now with the May River cheerleaders having a great time. Boy, how are you doing tonight? What's your name? Good. My name is Mia Hewis. So I'd love to know what all you have going on with practice and how you prepare for games for you know a night like tonight when it's rainy, a little bit slick, and not so warm. Yep, so we practice every day, and on Thursdays we usually go and cheer on our JV cheer team, and they did really good last night, and then today we all get ready together every game, and then we all get hyped up on the bus, and we come here, and we cheer for our team, and hopefully we have a win tonight. I love it. Big team, boy, good-looking team, big team. Uh, you have some accomplishments I'd love for you to share with our viewers before we head back to the action. Yes, so we have three All-American cheerleaders on our team we're actually getting ready to go into our comp season for school cheer. Our team's really solid this year, and we're very excited to be a home opener next week. Awesome. We'll look forward to seeing how things go. Thanks for taking a minute with us. Thanks, Luke Garonski and Consolidated Planning for supporting these sideline reports. And, boy, we got some football to watch, so let's do it. 29 nothing in favor of May River. And here... It's a run up the middle, and it's going to be a big run for a touchdown. Jordan Williams on the carry that time for May River, showing a little bit of his burst up the middle. Boy, he's a good-looking back, too. He, he, he's built a lot like Jaden Jones, number 22, number 23. I thought it was Jaden Jones for yeah. a second, but, boy, I like the looks of, of his, not only his body but his speed, too. He had a nice burst there right up the seam. Six foot, a buck 85 for Jordan Williams. And an extra point is coming up. 
It's on the way, and it's through. And it continues to be all May River here tonight. Back with more here in the fourth, next on WHHI. Hi, I'm Beth Drake. If you're serious about buying or selling a home, you need an experienced real estate professional who knows the local market and how to get you the best price. Having a degree in interior design gives me a unique edge when helping my buyers and sellers. From staging and marketing properties to assisting buyers with finding the home of their dreams, I'm delighted to be different by design. Call me at 422-7500 and let me help you every step of the way. We connect people to their work, to their families, to all things essential. That's why your Touchstone Energy Cooperative is here every day, making life easier in all the ways that matter. And of all the connections we make, we know none are more powerful than the human connection. Palmetto Electric Cooperative, your source for power and information. We welcome you back. We really have to give a couple of guys on the special teams for May River some credit. Number 13, Ethan Cartmel, he's listed as a kicker. And then Nathan Dalton, number 19, also listed as a kicker. Those guys have been doing yeo uh, yeoman's work. And there is Nathan Dalton, number 19, ready to kick it away. It is 35-0 in favor of May River. And the kick will be fielded at the 17. And here is Brown taking it to the outside. There's a flag. And number number 16 of May River just got tossed high in the air. That's Peter Nodelman, the uh, transfer wide receiver defensive back, transfer from Hilton Head Christian Academy, now playing for May River. He, he got banged around, and now Jones is, uh, rather, Brown is hurt. And we're going to take another timeout. We've got 9.20 to go in the ballgame. Back with more of the I-95 Bowl next on WHHI Sports TV. Let casual living, fireside and grilling inspire your outdoor style. Stop by and shop our 15,000 square foot showroom for the perfect patio furniture, fire pits, umbrellas, grills, outdoor kitchens and more. We're here to help turn your outdoor space into a haven of luxury and style. We offer delivery and setup. We're the only company that services what we sell. Please come by as we love during your business. Casual living, fireside and grilling, for the casual life. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. Hi, I'm Chip Welch with OC Welch Ford. Come pick out your brand new 2022 Expedition or Explorer with over 50 to choose from. With interest rates as low as 1.9%, Call or come see me today at O.C. Welch Ford in Hardyville, South Carolina. Welcome back to the I-95 Bowl, the Interstate 95 Bowl. Marcus Walsh, Daniel Court, Larry Jackamock, Jesse Jeremiah, Maria Soden, Christopher Sanders, and of course, Jeremy Pope with you here. Yeah, Marcus, is the, is the scoreboard at 36-0 to zero wasn't bad enough. We've yep. got a lot of, I mean, we've had three key Ridgeland players injured in the last three, four, five minutes. Here's and a big guy for Ridgeland, number 50, O'Garian Simmons taking the football. And we've got another Ridgeland player down, and he's number down. 50. We've talked so much. He's up now. We've talked so much about this field and just with the fact that it's new turf and whatnot, just how much moisture can it withstand? And now all of a sudden, we have more rain that has been falling here in the second half. Yeah, and Marcus, just under it, nine minutes to go. When this turf gets this saturated, it it can create well, clearly creates footing issues, but it creates injuries too. Sure, Kn knees give, ankles give, feet give. It's this is a, yeah, I'd, I'd I'd prefer to see them continue to run so that this clock can wind down. We don't want to see any bad injuries in a game like That's this. That's right. Here's a handoff and a nice run to about the 15-yard line. 
Reminder again, Daniel and I will have the MVP presentation and the head coach interview coming up. We've got a flag down. Yeah, going back to, you mentioned the kicking game. I mean, the, the May River has had all, all five of their touchdowns have been successful conversions, a two-point right. conversion and four successful PATs. In weather like this, it's hard enough. You know, when you go snap, hold, kick, that's hard enough in dry conditions. Sure. Uh, the holder, we'll get his name here. We want to verify that we've got the right player, but the holder and and the kicker, who is Nathan Dalton, have just done an exceptional job of they conversions. They have. And the snapper, we need to know him too. Brown out of the gun. He's going to hand it off to the left side, and it's number seven, Javon Grant. And Grant is going to take it across the 30 to about the 34-yard line. It's nice to see Ridgeland continuing to show intensity, effort. This is, uh, you know, it's still early in the season. These teams haven't entered region play, so you can learn a lot about yourself. Work on your offense. Work on yep. your fundamentals. Work on your discipline. There's still things to learn out here with about seven minutes left in the game. 36 to nothing in favor of May River. We also want to thank some extra sponsors we want to thank Palmetto Electric, CT Lounge and Company Insurance, Randall Lawnmower Equipment Sales and Service, Elsewhere's Sports Memorabilia in Old Town Bluffton, and Superior Services. As there's a good play by the May River D getting inside, making a, a good stop. Well, they give it to uh, big number 51, KJ Stevenson. <laughs> The in interesting call, but wow, that's a big guy carrying the football. Maybe they need to put him at fullback and let him clear some space. They're they're getting some of those bigger guys in there now, giving them a chance to touch the rock a little bit. Yeah, you got to give the what, what, what did uh, Keith Jackson call them the the big the ugly? big ugly the big uglies the big hugmollies. Give the big well. uglies a chance to shine. Rest in peace, Keith Jackson. You talk about one of the great play-by-play play announcers. A legend among legends. And not just with football either. He did Olympics. He did a lot of stuff throughout his career as May River again in on this stop and forcing Ridgeland to stay around the line of scrimmage or even go backwards a little bit. Daniel, did I see a flag there? It was just me. I, I guess did not. not see any laundry on that one, Marcus, but we could be wrong here. No, it looks like it's clean. Fourth down. 5.50 to go. Again, a reminder, we will have Bay River. We'll see them again next week as they'll be at home taking on the Buford Eagles. What a matchup that should be. Yeah, really looking Two forward to that. Two best teams that. in the area state, from last year. State semifinalist uh, Buford Eagles from last year. And, and in talking with all the coaches that we had at Media Day, and certainly Bryce Librand was one of them, he said, yeah, we're, it's, it's a new season. We're not satisfied with what happened last year, obviously losing to South Point. We're going to be going for it full throttle again, and they've got a very good team, as we talked about on Talk of the Town recently. A ton of talent. They had a, a nice win against Hilton Head last week, and uh, you know they've, it's, it's difficult to replace a four-year starter like Tyler Haley at quarterback. Uh, Samari Bonds is doing a nice job of it, though, and they still have a really good running game and some guys on the outside. They did replace some, some key skill position players uh, with, with some talent, and they've got that Eamon Smalls uh, anchoring that oh. defensive line and Casey Fields, number two, the yes. outstanding wideout. They've got talent. Here's So look forward to seeing that next week as we do, and, and you'll get to see it, too, here on WHHI. 5 3 to go. Yeah, Beaufort and May River, that's becoming a, a real rivalry. It is. You know, they went right down to the wire last year with uh, May River edging them out late in the season to win the region title at 24-21. Yep. But uh, Beaufort had the last laugh. They went deep into the playoffs all the way to the state finals till they ran into that brutal. There's tough. a run, and it's to the outside 30, 20, down the sideline. It's number 22. That's a big run again for number 22, Jordan Williams. Looks like Six a face, foot 185. Looks like a face mask is going to tack on some extra yards at the end of the run here, Marcus. You know, another game that we'll see in week three, not to get too far ahead, but Battery Creek and Whale Branch is going to be an interesting matchup too. Both teams playing really well. 
Yeah, we'll come back over the the bridge, the the Broad River Bridge for that one. And uh, yeah, you, you, Battery Creek is is an up and coming program. They've they struggled certainly are in recent years, but they've got some real talent too. Skill position players. Clifton Major, a running back for Whale Branch, out unfortunately with an injury, but they still have some really good talent. Pusha and and everybody there at Whale Branch. We'll see them in a couple of weeks as well. Four minutes and 18 seconds to go. May River with the football near the five-yard line. And it's a run up the middle and a a big hit. hit As in there now for May River is number nine. And I believe this this is the new kid, Garrett Dimmel. Demo, sorry. The quarterback, that's okay, 6'2", 180, transfer from Tennessee. Yeah, they got uh, uh, several transfers they do. in for May River. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to see what uh, Demo looks good. He's a big, big quarterback at 180. That's a big quarterback for the high school level. And uh, seems to bring, a, uh, from what I understand from the scouting report, a little bit more of an arm maybe than Tanner. Well, maybe he's got some legs too as the flag does. flies. He went diving into the end zone like Superman. We'll see what happens on the call via the flag. And uh, we'll see, but he, he went all sprawling out there. Well, the, uh, the middle has been where all of May River, well, most of May River's success has been all night, both in throwing and passing. They found that seam route several times, the Tanner Macy connecting with his both his tight ends and his wideouts down the middle, but the run has been uh, down the middle, has been successful all night too. So they, they found their bread basket um, and, and probably a, a bit of a weakness in Ridgeland's defense there in the middle of the field tonight. And here's Dimmel again to the outside. He's going to go across the 10, 5 to the corner. And he's down at about the 2, maybe the 3 yard line. He's taken down by number 10, Joshua Ferguson. He's a safety and wide receiver. 3.08 remaining in the ballgame. Well, it's always great to have a reliable second quarterback, and it looks like uh, May River has two very reliable and athletic quarterbacks to rely on this season. Uh, Quarterbacks are always subject to that that injury, and at the high school level it's hard to find, you know, sometimes a a quality backup that can come in and take that offense and keep keep moving. Is going to hand it off and a gain of just a couple before being tripped up again, that's number 22, Jordan Williams. Every time somebody wants to carry the ball for May River, I, I automatically want to think it's Jaden Jones, but it's Jordan Williams, number 22, taking it. Fourth down and three. As Brent, Brent Musburger used to say, you know, this is the money down being fourth yes, down. Yes, it is. Another fine play-by-play man in his own right. Well, and it's good to see. Yes, he, he sure is. Uh, but it's good to see that uh, May River's had the opportunity to get some of their uh, second string players in there and get them yep. some some experience that's that's going to be critical as the season gets later 210 to go run up the gut and that's going to be a touchdown for may river as garrett dimmel has the football in his left hand and we see laundry two flags on the play or at least two flags in the end zone and we will have our officiating crew sorted out Again, James Frederick, Charles Brown, Kelly Wagon, Joshua Pelkey, Addison Gerald, our officials tonight. <laughs> officials still needed in the state of South Carolina. SouthCarolinaOfficials.com. Daniel looks to be counting the players on the field. Think there might be one too many? Okay. And the kick is good, and it is now 43 to nothing. We're going to break. Be back in a moment. Life is full of choices, and the choices we make directly affect our quality of life. Our day is much easier when we don't hit the snooze alarm 10 times and show up late for work. We feel better when we eat a well-balanced meal versus running through the drive through And when it comes to your comfort at home or in the workplace, the result of hiring a fly-by-night repair guy or award-winning professional is night or day. Life is full of choices. For your home, for your family, for your environment. Make the superior choice. Call Superior today. 
in life, some things just go together, like a burger and fries, and home and auto insurance from State Farm. So make it a combo. Combining your home and auto insurance could save you time and money, and who doesn't like that? Just call State Farm agent Kevin Severe and find out how you can start saving today. It's just another way we're here to help life go right. We welcome you back. It is really coming down. 2.06 to play. And Marcus, I want to make some corrections here. We've sure. been giving the props to the kickoff specialist, Nathan Dalton, as the place kicker. And it looks like that's number 13, Ethan Cardmel, handling the, the point after duties as kicker. Who's, we were talking about what a great job that unit has done tonight. It looks like, from what I can tell, and I apologize to our viewers, it is very difficult to see the May River players' numbers because they're, they're silver against white. So we're struggling a little bit with the numbers. With, with white lighting. But it looks like number seven, Andrew Johnson, might be the holder. It could be Tanner Macy. We want to mention all of them just in Absolutely. case because they've all done a phenomenal job. I'd love to give the snapper props, but I haven't been able to identify that number either. Kudos, 40, kudos to all of them. 43 to nothing with a minute and 33 seconds. Actually, a minute and 30 seconds and counting left. The rain is really coming down now. This is as hard as it's rained all night. And Ridgeland's just going to let this clock roll down a little bit more. The snap goes to Brown. And May River says, no, 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 not today. Big hit for number 99, Elton Reyes. Defensive tackle, 5'10", a buck 90. And one thing I wanted to mention, we haven't mentioned all night, Rodney Summers did tell us also that the Sharks have only lost five, get this, Marcus, five games during the regular season in the past four years. This is going to be their first victory tonight after a slow start, even though part of that to, is because they're playing such good quality teams early on in the season. To go even a tad bit further of that, the fact they've lost five games in the last four years and two of them have been this year. Right. They are 0-2. Right. That's not 0 and 2 for much longer. That's heady stuff. They'll be 1 and 2 in about 25 seconds. As there goes Maurice Brown down the sideline across the 35 to the 40. I mean, no, this this no team quit. looks really strong. No no quit in these Ridgeland Jaguars though. And, and Ridgeland looks like they are, you know, competing, doing some good things as well. Down to 12 seconds. Ball is down on the ground. And it's, rain, it's raining so hard now, we can, we can hear it smacking against the windshield here. Yes, indeed. And that will do it. The final score of the I-95 Bowl. It's May River 43 and Ridgeland Artyville nothing. We'll see you next week. May River hosting Buford right here on WHHI Sports TV. Until then, so long, everybody. This is the mower that cut the lawn where you laid on your back so a princess could fly. The Xmark Radius will get you on and off the lawn quickly with the signature cut, comfort, and reliability more landscape pros trust. Xmark, official mowers of the backyard life. Visit your local dealer or explore the Xmark Radius online for special finance offers available now. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. the Jaden Jones drive earlier. Now Ridgeland looks like they want to blitz and they're going up the middle with Jaden Jones. He's got some room down the right side. He could be gone 10-5 into the end zone for the touchdown. The safety had a, a, a an angle on him, should have caught him, but Jones just showing that elusive speed and really, you know, why he's 
considered one of the top players to watch here right. in the entire state of South Carolina. Yep. Imagine how inconvenient your life would be without power. No lights, no refrigeration, no heating or cooling, no electronics. But with a Generac Home Standby Generator, you will have power when you need it most. Generac generators automatically provide backup power after sensing a power outage. So your life goes on uninterrupted. No doubt we're living in uncertain times and many of our loved ones are spending more time at home. Selectric will have you prepared when the power goes out. Selectric, done right now. Hey, are you looking to make living in the low country a little more affordable? Do you have a detached garage just like this one? Well, why not add on to it and make it a passive income opportunity? They call this a carriage house or an accessory dwelling unit or ADU. By building an ADU, you will increase your home's value, have an opportunity to actually make some money, and give someone a high quality home to live in and rent just like this one. My name is Ryan from Bluffton Builders, and my goal is to make home ownership more enjoyable through the highest quality craftsmanship, convenience, and communication. To learn more, go to Bluffton.Build forward slash ADU. Hi, this is Daniel Cord, and I am here in the monsoon with a but and it's a good spot to be because I'm surrounded by sharks, the winning sharks. I'd like to present the winning trophy to Coach Rodney Summers and the May River Sharks. Yeah. Coach, as, ki as kids, we always love these kind of games because you can get wet and nasty and just get after it. What are your uh, thoughts on the keys to this football game and this win? You know, we came in just trying to focus on the Sharks, trying to focus on our, our uh, mistakes that, you know, not make as many mistakes as we made in the past. And we did, did a good job of that. We still made some, and uh, the guys played hard. And uh, we bent a little bit down there. We didn't break and kept them out of the end zone. So I'm proud of them. Well, I heard one of the most impressive stats that I've heard at this level in some time. This is only, uh, you've only lost five regular season games in four seasons? I believe so. I believe so. Five and four seasons. And uh, we're hoping to get this thing turned around the right way this year. Well, this gets you back on the right track. You face some really uh, hefty, stout competition. And I think that's going to bode well for you as you get into region play. What are your thoughts? I think so. The schedule uh, was tough on the front end. And I think it's going to be tough in region. I mean, these guys understand that uh, week in and week out, the target's on our back. And we've got to go out and play hard and execute our offense, our defense on special teams. And uh, they know, they know the, the task at hand. And it's not going to be easy, uh, especially with Eagles next week coming to our house. And uh, so, um, you know, again, uh, we got to play, we got to play May River football. Well, you mentioned the Eagles coming to your house. That's become one of the key rivalries, central rivalries in all the low country, is you against those Buford Eagles. What are your thoughts real quickly on that, on that matchup? Very talented team. Uh, last year we were able to come away with a win for the region championship, so I'm sure they're going to remember that. And so uh, you know, it's not for a region, but our guys, and they know it's, it's still a big rivalry. So uh, Indeed. Indeed. So it'll, it'll be a big game. You guys going to be ready for those Eagles next week? Yeah! <laughs> I think – I think they're pretty fired up. So we're going to be, stay with us. We're going to be right back with our player of the game. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. Hi, I'm Chip Welch with OC Welch Ford. Come pick out your brand new 2022 Expedition or Explorer with over 50 to choose from. With interest rates as low as 1.9%, call or come see me today at OC Welch Ford in Hardyville, South Carolina. Hi, I'm Barry Edwards with Island Tire and Automotive Services. Here at Island Tire, we like to provide you with peace of mind by using the best with Michelin tires. With 19 plants in North America, seven of those are here in South Carolina. Michelin makes it easy to support local giving because they provide the best quality, top leading innovation and service. Three things Michelin and Island Tire and Automotive Services have in common, quality, innovation and service. Give us a call today.
All right, we are back with our MVP award presentation. And I'll tell you, some of the decisions we have to make in these broadcasts are difficult. This one was not. Uh, I believe you had four rushing touchdowns tonight. We're not sure how many yards. It's going to be a bunch. The guys at Loco Sports will fill us in on that. But we'd like to award the most valuable player of this football game to running back Jaden Jones. I said early on that this guy's a true triple threat. He runs with power. He runs north and south really well. But, man, you showed some, some shiftiness. You got the jukes and the jives, and you were making guys miss left and right. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, your success and what you've done in the offseason to get prepared. Uh, I've worked very hard in the offseason, especially uh, summer conditioning with the team and uh, the coaching staff. They really prepared me, you know, for the season. Now, you look like uh, we called some of your games last year. You look like you've put on a little body mass this year. You've been in the weight room? Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, part, part of our uh, tradition is, you know, weight room and uh, working hard in the weight room. So, yes, I've definitely been in the weight room this past summer. Yeah. Well, what are, you know, I was just talking to Coach Summers about next week. That's a huge matchup for you guys. And I know, uh, as Coach alluded to, they remember that uh, late season loss to you guys, 24 to 21. So what are your thoughts about that matchup and, and how are you going to prepare this week? I mean, like I said, early in the season, this is the measuring stick for us. I mean, this matchup is personal because it's always personal when we play Beefer. So we're going to be ready heading into Friday next week. Absolutely. You heard it, folks, from the player of the game, our most valuable player, Jaden Jones. Jaden, I think uh, you'd have to say that uh, you had some horses up front there leading the way for you, wouldn't you? Absolutely. I want to thank my offensive line, my, uh, <laughs> my defense, and uh, my team, and my coaching staff, everybody. Thank you. Yeah, this is, at the end of the day, this is a team game, and they did it that way. They did it right. May River Sharks and Jaden Jones, victorious tonight. We'll see you next week as we have Buford versus May River here on WHHI Sports. I'm Daniel Court. We'll see you.